Hey guys, this is Gaz the Gamer, formerly Hank2811. Uh, the name's just changed, but I'll explain that later on. And This is a new LP, uh, The Raven Episode 1. And the music's just spiralled up in my version, so that was kind of off putting. Yes, The Raven Episode 1 is what it's called. There's my hard drive, look at its glory. And it's a brand new game, I've literally just finished downloading it. Uh, it's only 3 gigs. But uh, So yeah, as you can see there's 3 chapters, uh, the other 2 have not been released. I believe this chapter was released in July, I think late July, um, and from what I've seen of it, it's pretty good. It gets a 9 out of 10, I believe, in IGN, which is pretty sweet, um, but then again, I'll be honest, I don't usually go by IGN ratings, but, you know, when you look at it and it goes 9 out of 10, you go, oh, okay, cool. Um, it was published by Nordic Gaming, I believe, or Nordic something, it'll come up later on, uh, who did Alan Wake, and I love Alan Wake, um, so... And it's uh, seemingly a very story-driven game, with twists and turns that immerses the player. Not my own words, my words are not that nice. I've not played the game, so I don't mean about this game, I just mean my words are basic and pretty shit. Hence the multitude of swearing that goes on in my videos, as I'm sure anyone who's watched at least one will know. So yeah, I think this game will be me being quiet and then me being stupid. But um, here's open. I don't know. Actually, I love uh, not strategy games. I love uh, puzzle games and stuff. But there's a big story to this, so I'll probably be quiet. So far, the music's been really cool. I actually sat there and listened to the um, the start screen music for a good like couple of minutes, which I thought was to compose myself before this video. But I actually think it was just damn good. Uh, I'm a huge fan of good game music. Um, I own so many soundtracks, it's ridiculous. And they're expensive if you've ever tried to get them legitimately. Uh, as you know, if you go into Amazon, I think Snake Eater, uh, Smell Your Solid 3 Snake Eater, that's like 55 quid. Oh fuck! I'm just gonna shut up and let the music do the talking. The Raven's heir. Soon as one of them's caught another one takes yeah. his place. Hey, Harold, have you read this? Harold? 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 Harold's dancing, he'll be back in ten minutes. He's grooving to the beat. Harold, you hear me? This is no time for fun and games. Why is eyes glowing? <laughs> Fuck Harold being terrifying, you're terrifying, mate. Shh! Calm down. I'm oh, a copper. We're on the same side. A copper? What are you doing here? And where's Harold? Harold? Well, there's another guard back there unconscious. That's probably him. The Eye of the Sphinx. Where is it? It's there. Oh, good. Then he hasn't got it yet. You mean... the Raven's heir? Shh! Turn it off! He's gonna steal the eye. But... how do you know? Doesn't matter. All that matters is that we catch him, do you understand? Yeah, but... Do you understand? You and me, mate, we'll be heroes. All right, now, we just have to... <sighs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Halt! Stone Gops. Halt! Stop! You're under arrest! Oh, fuck! Oh, man! That was cool! I'm digging the hell out of this already. Again, I apologize for sniffling. Ooh, that's pretty. I totally recognize that bridge. It's probably quite a, like just a European bridge, but I feel like I recognize that. I feel like it should be like I don't know, fight in World War II plane over the top of it, maybe. I don't know why. I mean, it's going to be like, oh yes, it's in the middle of America. Oh yes, European bridge, Gary. Good job. Pat back. Serene, I like it. 
again, the music, I, I will harp on about this a lot, so I'm, I apologise, but I, uh, I love music in games. Good music in games. Too many people just don't use it right. Like, music can do anything, it can really portray you know, the emotion of the scene, it can, it can it helps the player kind of immerse himself as well. For example, right now I'm swaying my head rapidly, which is probably kind of dangerous. Good job, Benny Oshman. Probably annihilate your name, I apologise, but your music is impressive. But I may well Google his name after this, because that is some damn fine music. Though. Like, he gives a shit. He's made a game. He doesn't care what I'm saying still. Deep Stalin, London. Cleopatra, Undai Oscar, something. Should probably just avoid all of this. Trying to, <laughs> trying to do names. Oh fuck! I don't have time to play. I'm on duty. Yeah, you little shit. All right. <laughs> You're funny, but you don't look like a real cop. You don't even have a revolver. Why do you need the gun? It's the Raven. He was gunned down, so now I need a pistol. Dead birds don't need guns, nor do live ones. You don't know who the Raven is, do you? He's the greatest burglar ever. He stole paintings from the Louvre, and those priceless eggs with gold and diamonds and stuff. And Bobby Dobbs says he replaced the crown jewels with rhinestones. I know who the Raven was. That Although, train is moving fucking quickly. I don't quickly. quite buy that bit about the crown jewels. I know the moves quickly, but still. Uh, let's... Who is he? What's your name, boy? Oh, who are you? I was meant the Raven. And where are you from, Matthew Miller? From Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. But my mom and I live in England now. She's taking care of some rich old lady. We're on our way Ooh. to Venice at the moment. Ooh, We're taking like a cruise on a big ship. Impressive. <laughs> You've already seen half the world. I've spent well, my on. entire life in Switzerland. Ooh, Must European British, really right. Boring. You do know these days there are thieves far more dangerous than your old raven. Two days ago, a precious uh. ruby was stolen from the British Museum. There was an explosion. A guard was severely... That kid kinda looks like really? me, actually. Yeah. And do you know what the papers say? <clears throat> you talk too much, Constable. Zellner, monsieur. Anton Jakob Zellner. Or did he pull a gun on you? No, monsieur. Get a move on. No need to be a dick. Inspector the train is moving rapidly. What it's a great honor to work with a celebrity like you. We appreciate the support of the Swiss police. But it'd be better if you'd remain seated and keep an eye on things. I want to help. But monsieur, surely I can be of assistance somehow. I saw a safe being loaded. Look at the mustache. I'm clearly Quaro. If you'll excuse me, I'll no, you know what Quaro is, but it's fine. Back of the train Google it later. The the I'm not here to enjoy the beautiful scenery. I, I am a good observer, and I have finally honed powers of deduction. Is he going to be my Doctor Watson? Thanks to oh that. ass. <laughs> I watched the people on the platform in Zurich. I know, for example, that that man over there is a violinist. <laughs> That would be more impressive Good job. if there weren't a violin case yeah, exactly. next to him. And I believe that the gentleman in the next carriage is a German doctor on his way to Italy to take up a new position. <laughs> and what gives you that idea? There's the rod of Asclepius engraved on his cufflink. And he's carrying a German-Italian dictionary. Maybe he's just taking a holiday in Italy, following in Goethe's footsteps. Too much luggage. And no, he's not retiring to Italy either. The suitcases are too shabby for me to believe that he can afford to retire in his late fifties. All right then, Constable Zellner. Constable Zellner, if you're such a clever fellow, what am I doing on this train? I think that you are searching for someone. I think you're looking for someone. You're just guessing. If I were looking for someone, I wouldn't spend the trip cooped up in a freight car, no, would I? That well, I that would prefer. seem to indicate that you're guarding something. Damn thing, I, I, I was going to say that. I'm going to say... 
A jewel? Could it possibly be? It's not. It's gonna be the top one, isn't it? That's making a long and perilous journey. You're guessing. You can't possibly know what's inside the safe. But if that were the case, then I'd ask you why the train wasn't crawling with police. Fuck's sake! It's a trap. Uh, don't arouse attention. That's a good show, actually. You don't want to arouse attention. If you don't, but why not? Oh, it's a trap! Yeah, it is a trap! They'll try and catch the raven. <laughs> You've got a vivid imagination. I'll give you that. Well, that is impressive, I admit. But the fewer people involved, the better. We'll get I probably just fucked it up. That's probably really vital. <laughs> it's like, oh, get this right and you'll prove me. You can clearly get Won't? Pardonnez-moi. I can help. And I will help. You are in my country. And I have been ordered to assist you. And that's exactly what I'll do, whether you like it or not. Hmm, clever and stubborn. That's about Your right. commitment speaks volumes, Zana. But this is my show, and I don't <laughs> need you. Bon voyage. But I'm, I'm the protagonist. Off. Fuck off! Is what he basically just said. Oh, his head was flashing. Oh, I could go up rapidly. Oh, hello. You cheated. I did what? what? I saw you talking to the German doctor on the platform. He Ugh. told you everything himself, and you were just pretending to put two and two together. And what of it? Do you know who that is? That's Inspector Nicholas Legrand. You have to impress him if you want to work with him. I'm going to tell on you. You'd really Better, no, tell I will stop on you. me? To the very policeman who shot your dear Raven? Whoa! It was him? Mm-hmm. Hunted and killed Europe's most famous burglar. That's how he got his start. I won't tell him a thing. I wouldn't either. All right, Matthew. I have to do my work now. Everyone calls me Matt. Well, except for my mom. She calls me Maddie, as if I were a little kid. I would call you Tess. Because I'm a bit Whether the ground wants my help or not, I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I can change his mind. Uh, do you want to learn about the game controls? Uh, yes, we probably better. Uh, to come and move next with the left stick and use the right stick. This morning I thought I wouldn't be hungry because of all the excitement. Thankfully, I bought a sandwich in the anyway. And an apple. Yeah, you tidy up that rubbish. Make a swan! Oh, damn it. Very good, now press Y, this opens up the inventory. And I can now. Ah, that's good thinking. That's good thinking. I would have thrown it all out of the, uh, out of the train, because, you know, it's moving at Mach 5, seemingly. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. I will be for again, select the sandwich paper, and press B to examine it. I wrapped the apple core in the sandwich paper. That way I can carry it without making a mess of my trouser pocket. That Still, is good I thinking. not to have to carry them all day. Of course, you can use the items to them to with each other. That is a good shout. The napkin came with the croissant I bought at the train station. A guilty pleasure. I don't need that either. Um. So it just phased in? Cool. Every table has its own waste basket. Practical. That's no cool. need to ever leave your seat. That's very handy. Every table has its own waste oh, shit. basket. Practical. No need to ever leave your seat. I'm trying to look at the waste basket. What the fuck? Every table yes. has its own. I I'm aware. Oh, I'm being a bit of an idiot. There we go. That's not a waste bag. I don't know. I kind of struggled. All right. All right. Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. I, I'm leaking the start of this game, though. It's cool. Um, that rustling earlier, by the way, was me... Sorry, there's weird noises going on. Uh, that rustling earlier was me getting paper. I apologize. But um, I feel like it's going to be that kind of game. Even though there's hints in the notebook, I think I'm going to write stuff down anyway. Because um, I'm an old man. The violinist is a good-looking fellow. 
And he's traveling <laughs> through the most beautiful mountain landscape in the world. The one can only hope that his violin is better tuned than he. Oh, really? Let's talk to him. Oh, he's nervous. Hello, sir. Hello. Who are you? If I'm not mistaken, I am you. you're a violinist. <laughs> no, who are you? I am a wonderful me. instrument. No, who are you? The violin uh, touches the soul. That's why I learned to play it. Do you play in an orchestra? No, orchestras aren't really part of my world. A solo violinist. The best soloists travel a great deal and make a pile of money. Or so they say. In that case, I'm probably not one of the best. Hey. <laughs> Are you traveling to Istanbul non-stop? No. I'll transfer in Venice to a ship. I'm on my way to Cairo. Cairo? I'm performing at a reception in the Egyptian Museum. Oh, okay. I'm sure your recital will be a great success. Well, I'm not shaking. Did you notice anything unusual on the train? Anything unusual? Persons acting suspiciously, for instance. For heaven's sake, is there cause for concern? Everything is in order, sir. We Swiss are just very cautious people. I understand. No, I didn't notice anything. Have a good trip. Thank you. I feel like the um uh, oh where are you going? That's my book. Uh and what the fuck is that? The large map shows the different routes of the Orient Express. This train began in Paris and ends in Istanbul as usual. Unfortunately, it will make most of its journey without me. You can hop out, is it? Um, I'll be honest, the controls are a... Uh, oh, I hate when cameras change like that. Uh. Very oh. kind of you. Thanks. Wait, what? Oh, oh, pardon me. No, no, no problem. The uniform is waterproof. Uh, Mr... Lucian. Professor Edgar Lucian. Oh, a professor? Ooh! <laughs> Those aren't too impressed, Mr. Scientist. Do you teach at the Sorbonne? No, I work at the British Museum in London. You don't say. So were the burglars. So you were, shall we say, an eyewitness to the burglary two days ago. No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, no? Well, there was a lot of commotion, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. There was a break-in in your museum, and it didn't concern you? Well, let's just say that nothing that's happened in the last 2,000 years concerns me. Ha ha ha. Whatever you say. Hmm, the that's famous kinda weird. Inspector Legrand is on this train. I imagine oh, you I know. understand it, but just, uh, he seems like a dead. No, should I? You don't know him? And you also mm. don't know what he's doing here? No. <laughs> Why should I? Just a thought. You're a representative of the British Museum. There's, There's a safe. guard yeah, exactly. safe on the train. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I don't know what you're trying to imply. And now, please excuse me. Here you go, man. May I ask where you are going? <laughs> of course. I'm just saying it. To Vince. Okay. I'm going <laughs> oh, to meet some dear. colleagues. There. I don't know why. Oh, Venice. Nice. A beautiful city. <clears throat> so I'm told. Indeed. Indeed. But I really have to take my leave now. And it's suspicious. Just one more thing. Did you mm. notice anything unusual? I don't know why I'm reading this. These are, I read them. Here. They speak them for me. On the train? No. <clears throat> I can't say that I have. I'm yeah, Although I did spend most of the time in my compartment. Here's... I don't want to take up any more <clears throat> of your valuable time. But you do understand, don't you? That what concerns me is the present. And especially the robbery at the museum. Yeah, of course, of course. It's just... I I'm in rather a hurry. You'll get in touch if you notice anything unusual, won't you, Professor? Of course, Constable. Fantastic. Okay. What's this? What's the matter, sir? The door. I can't open it. Ah. Uh, I can open that for you. Out somehow. Kick it down. Kick it down! The compartment is locked. But... I didn't lock it. I don't even have a key. I asked the steward, he was going to bring me one, but he never came back. Someone locked it. 
can't get the fuck down, Tell man. The steward. He needs to bring me the key immediately. Calm down, Professor. I'll see what I can do. No, no, you don't understand. I have to get back in my compartment. All right, just wait here. There is totally something in that compartment. Keep, keep. Oh. oh. The little label on the door reads Baroness. Can I, oh, uh, no, that's no. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Hold the right trigger, hoping you'll sprint. Sadly, not. If you're not making any progress, take a break and relax. Okay, thank you very much.